insulted and alarmed at the disgraceful concoction of misinformation and misdirection being used by the JLP in the face of, quite frankly, damning revelations by the Integrity Commission that a total of eight parliamentarians are now under investigation for illicit enrichment and unexplained wealth. In their usual diversionary style, JLP Deputy Gen Sec Charles Sinclair attempted to mislead Jamaicans by suggesting that the Integrity Commission does not inform individuals under investigation. We are saying that the JLP is fully aware that, to the contrary, the Integrity Commission does write to individuals who are under investigation for illicit enrichment and advises them of such investigation. This protocol we know is in place to ensure that those under scrutiny are aware of their status and can respond appropriately. In fact, in a public statement in Parliament, the Commission's Director of Investigation, Kevon Stevenson, said, and I'm going to quote him here, he said, all declarants who are being investigated for illicit enrichment must be so advised. Declarants under such an investigation must, by law, be given an opportunity to explain how they came by their assets. That's a direct quote. In fact, this same statement was shared by the Integrity Commission's Executive Director, Greg Christie, via an email to Parliament in August 2023. Therefore, I am very concerned by Senator Charles Sinclair's assertion that the PNP cannot speak with certainty on this matter. That is incorrect and by extension, the JLP should also be able to say if the eight MPs under investigation sit among them. After all, on November 19, 2023, the Jamaica Gleaner reported that the Integrity Commission called a meeting with a JLP MP regarding possible illicit enrichment. We're standing by the statement issued by the leader of the opposition yesterday that all 22 PNP parliamentarians, both MPs and senators, have confirmed that they are not aware of being investigated by the Integrity Commission for illicit enrichment. We therefore challenge Mr. Sinclair, the Prime Minister and the entire Jamaica Labour Party to state unequivocally whether any of their members are under investigation for illicit enrichment. We just want to remind the Jamaica Labour Party that the historically unprecedented case of eight parliamentarians being under investigation by the country's integrity watchdog for illicit enrichment is a serious matter. This has a potential to derail any government and cause irrevocable damage to a country's reputation. The PNP is urging the JLP to address these critical issues with the seriousness they deserve, rather than attempting to deflect attention through baseless accusations and disinformation. We are again calling on all parliamentarians to uphold the highest ethical standards and to support the Integrity Commission in its efforts to address any discrepancies in asset declarations. Blessed me people, me I know how to do that one without sounding politically biased. I'm 62 years now since Jamaica gets independence. 62 years now since we start elect who we want to run the country, who we want to govern we. And for the world, 62 years, our Jamaican people get from these people who we elect to govern us is just corruption, corruption, corruption. Every party come in. You have members inside their parties who illicitly enrich themselves with millions to billions of dollars. Now, people, make a face reality. Real, real reality now. Please. I'm afraid of Andrew, I'm afraid of supporters, I'm afraid, but somebody after. All right? Fierce reality. Last year, 
the integrity commission come to us and say they have six people who they might investigate for illicit enrichment okay illicit enrichment six people all right they don't need no name no come back this year again and then say them have additional two people that are illicitly enriching themselves oh god people man talk it short talk it short imagine six in there you know same way you know but then say illicit rich themselves you know from last year you know and them still did they know you know imagine how much richer them get with the additional year you know and now we have two more two more the public can't hear the names of the people who are illicitly enriching themselves eight of them eight of them just imagine eight of them and don't be biased jail penal power now all right so at them i get to PNP did end there for 17 years. PNP did have people who are in, illicitly enrich themselves too, you know. So I don't want to say, I'm going to talk about the JLP, you know. PNP do it, you know. My problem is, when will this stop? When will this end? When will people stop use politics as a means of getting rich? A man left from school goes straight into politics. And yes, tell him have hundreds of millions of dollars. And he don't know how that's working, you know. So we left from you know, and go straight in politics, you know, we'll be fearing the people. We'll not be fearing the people. Hmm? The integrity commission have a gaggle on them. Where them can't call the name of the people that are illicitly robbing the country's wealth. And them can't disclose the type of investigation where them are doing because the law was set upon them. People, the law they want to move. We want to know who are rich themselves. We want to know who definitely. I illicitly enrich themselves and don't make this be a political thing. Please and thanks. Please and thanks because our taxpayers are feel it. And the local man at the end are feel it. You see me? We just want the law to change. That's we can publicly know who and who are rich themselves out of the public purse. Whether they are PNP or JLP. That's all me want to know. And that's all me want to do. We don't want to know who. I want uh, policies put in place to stop them in them track. Because if they do it, they're supposed to stop. You're not supposed to investigate them and them still at the same way. That's not going to work. And that not work. So again, the better cut off me, Mr. Anjo, now your supporters. I'm afraid I won't. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be talking about the illicit enrichment of politicians in Jamaica. In the past few days or weeks, it was known in the media that six people were under investigation by the Integrity Commission, which was later updated to eight. Now, these people are parliamentarians. And when this information came to the public domain, a lot of people, that is the general public, had wanted to know which of the parliamentarians was under investigation for this illicit enrichment but it seems that the government is trying not for this information to get to the public domain so that people's identity are protected but some jamaicans are not happy about this for instance this man who spoke in this video is not happy about this he says jamaica has gotten independence over 60 years and it looks like every politician who comes in has nothing better to help develop the country but only to siphon money that is for Jamaica to himself to enrich himself or herself illicitly. That has been the order of the day for majority of politicians in Jamaica. Now looking at this, it is alleged that these parliamentarians under investigation belong to the ruling government. So it looks like the ruling government is protecting the identity of these parliamentarians so that the general public do not know about it. Now there are laws that are enshrined to make sure that the identities are not revealed. I think it is backed by a law or something like that. So I think as there is a constitution review these kind of laws and clauses should as well be looked at carefully so that things like this can be easily assessed by the general 
public. I think majority of politicians need to renew their mind, have their country at heart and help their country rather than to siphon money from the country for their personal gains. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Just click the subscribe button down here. Click on the subscribe button. Click as well on the notification bell and I'd like to see you again in my next video.